this is going to be a very, very short video because there's not a lot of information about this case available at all. It occurred in Japan and maybe that's why it's so anonymous. Overall, I still wanted to share the minor tiny details that are available of the death of this young woman. Nicola Furling was found dead on May 24th, 2012 in Tokyo at Kayo Hotel in Tokyo's Shinjuku Ward. She and another Irish exchange student had attended a concert by Nicki Minaj earlier that evening and remained in Tokyo after missing their train home. Police arrested two American men, 19-year-old Richard Hintz and 23-year-old dancer James Jamari Blackston, who allegedly invited Furlong and her friend to drinks after meeting them at the Nicki Minaj concert. Hintz was subsequently charged with the murder of Furlong. During the trial in 2013, he claimed he put his hands around her neck after she indicated she wanted rough sex and that he had no intention of killing her. But this was rejected by the prosecution, who claimed that he tried to rape for long while she was unconscious, only for her to wake up and scream. Hintz then strangled her. According to police, Furlong's friend was sexually assaulted in the taxi on the way to the hotel while both women were unconscious. Once they arrived at the man's hotel, the hotel provided a wheelchair to take the comatose girls to the man's rooms. Police said that groping took place in the taxi and it was captured on a security camera, as was the entrance of the two women to the hotel in wheelchairs being pushed by the two men. On the 19th of March 2013, the musician Richard Hintz was found guilty and sentenced to between 5 and 10 years in Tokyo prison for the murder of Furlong. This caused him pretty much an outrage for many people because murdering someone and only getting 5 to 10 years is pretty low. Especially in a foreign country, you would think he got way he would have deserved way worse, but apparently he didn't. This is what upsets many people in the world to this day. One of the guys is out now, Mr. Blackston, and he makes a lot of selfies with uh, Snoop Dogg and other famous people. It seems he's living the good life, preaching about God, but he was still involved in the murder. He even had the audacity to say, "Well, and at the end of the day, it's God who decides." What happens? In his eyes, I guess he thought God wanted this girl to die that day, so it's no big deal. As always, dear viewer, have sweet dreams.